This archived clip from Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Join us live every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. We want to talk about some electronic, electronics kits tonight also. So we brought a few. The intern sent us a few here. And uh, I first want to talk about what I have here. This is the Octo Lively kit. Um, let's put it in, in the shot here. This is from Evil Mad Scientist Labs. I'm going to uh, hook up the power. I didn't get the right power supply here, so I'm going to just... Uh, just kind of jury rig this. Here, you want me to hold it then? There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay cool. Okay. So this is just a, a LED matrix thing so that you can do cool things. It's got different modes. They're tileable. You can tile different things together. It's a kit you solder yourself in it. Let's switch the mode. This is uh, a, a mode one. Here we go. Watch this. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. ah. That's actually really satisfying. Yeah. So it's using um, infrared emitters and um, what do you call them? Uh, sensors. Sensors. sensors, yeah. yeah. Uh, infrared sensors to, to test uh, to see where the hand is. And so let's try a different mode here. Uh, what's the one I like? There's, there's a bunch of cool modes. This one has a cool. It's kind of like, uh -huh. it's like a, pulses. It does a blink out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, there's one. Um, the one that kind of like has a sha like a an echo, I call it an echo. Hold on, mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, there it goes. There goes the echo. Kind of like mm -hmm. fades out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So that's the Octo Lively kit uh, from Evil Mad Scientist Labs. Um, it's only uh, thirty-five dollars, but you do have to provide your own power supply for that. Also from Evil Mad Scientist Labs, we have another kit from them. This one I like a lot. You want to play this? Sure. This you have to kind of play it uh, upside down or some way so that yeah. the people can see. This is the Meggy RGB. Um, also from Evil Mad Scientist Labs, it's programmable. Uh, and actually, you can use the Arduino development environment. It's got sound effects and this cool RGB um, display to play games. So you could write your own games for this? Yes, you can write your own games. And in fact, online, there are actually a ton of games. Oh, they, really? They, yeah. Uh, you're not quite seeing the... Uh, there you go. It, you, there you go. You can kind of see the... Uh, it look, in person, under the light, it, it's not really coming out right, but in person, um, it actually looks really cool. These LEDs are really bright. We just have these bright lights. There we go. Hopefully you can see that now. Yeah, it's a nice uh, RGB matrix yeah. display. And, yeah, and it's very nice. And you can actually link via serial two of them together and play games against each other. Really? Yeah, yeah. Fancy. So it's like, it, it's quite a, quite a lot of features in this mm -hmm. for such a um, you know, cool kit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the uh, Meggy RGB. And also the, um, th these pieces are laser cut and you get these, but you can, uh, they, they have all, all these resources for making your own like enclosure for it. There's like a bat wing one where you can hold down here and, and hit the buttons here. and. So yeah, this is, a, this is a really cool one. I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more uh, like basic for, mm -hmm. a, for a younger maker, I'm, I'm gonna, we were having some trouble with this before. This can be a little temperamental. We'll give it a try. <laughs> you, Ariel has a, has a magic touch here. This is the Drawdio. And probably a lot of you are familiar with this. There we go. Can you all hear that? So what's going on here exactly? It's, it's the conductance around your, your body that's picking up on and amplifying? Yeah, it's going through the pencil and through the lead that you draw. Oh, there we go. We got a mic in there. This one, the one we have here is a little bit uh, temperamental. We were, mm -hmm. we were kind of messing around with it before. I think I had... Ooh. Well, I'm cheating. Oh. <laughs> okay, well... We, we had it working before, and then I think I messed it up. I was kind of playing around with it too much, and mm -hmm. I probably uh, broke it. But this is a great kit. <laughs> this is a great basic kit. It's a basic, uh, you know, it's not. It's much easier to solder than something like the Meggy or... I don't think there is even soldering. Is oh, really? It? Yeah, what? no. Well, you can buy it as a kit or, or uh, oh, okay. pre-soldered, right, either one. Okay, cool. So you've got, you've got both options there. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have um, another kit here. This is called the Proto Snap Mini. This is from Spark Fun. This is a, it's a mini Arduino. I'll hold it up here. It, it's an Arduino mini here um, with an FTDI that's separated out. This will, you know, let you communicate to the Arduino using USB. And there's also these components here. There's a button here, which if, when you press, the buzzer goes off. 
like that. And then there's a light sensor, and as you can see, there's an RGB LED in there. And so these are all wired up through this, this like, I, I don't know what you call that, like a bus or something that you could like snap, and you can yeah. snap these So it's off. a whole PCB, it's all one PCB that's working, but then you could snap it off and, and use the bits that you want and put it into a little enclosure to make your own little gadget. It's exactly. kind of cool that, that it comes, you can, you can use it to learn your bits, and then you can snap it off and, and put it into your uh, death ray or, or whatever. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and the other thing I like about this, this is that the components actually, like the button already has, you can't see it because it's a small SMD component, but it has a, a, a pull-down resistor there. The, um, the photo cell has a, a voltage divider resistor, and then there's current limiting resistors already in there. So you don't have to worry about the resistors, uh, at least with these guys. And then you've got a little extra prototyping area here. So you can solder pins on them, and as you said, make, uh, make your own death ray or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's a cool one. That's from SparkFun. Uh, I like that one a lot. You can do make, basically make whatever you want. And along the idea of Arduino, we have here, this is the uh, Mint Duino. It comes, all the parts come in this little, this little nice package. Um, and you can make a breadboard Arduino like this. Let me put this here and plug it in. So this has like a kind of a riff on the blink sketch going. It's, it's kind of, there you go. Yeah, I like this one because it's a, it's a full-on Arduino that you can go ahead and use for your projects and, and put any code you write into it, but you put all the parts onto the breadboard so you get a, more of a feel for what's really going on with the, with the chip. Yeah, that's a great, it's a great way to learn Arduinos to put one together yourself and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, also, maybe if you're going beyond Arduino and you want to just make your own PCB, right. you, you could just use these parts and sure, and, and make your own and make it have whatever configuration you want, and make the pins come out wherever you want them to. Absolutely. We have one more Arduino board I wanted to show you, and this one you probably all have seen. This this is this itself is not a kit, but I'll, I'll explain why I'm showing this. This is the Arduino Mega ADK. Um, it's like an Arduino Mega in that it has tons of pins for input and output, but what it has the ADK part means Android Developer Kit, and what that is is that this component here, it's a host USB controller. You can hook your phone up to this, your Android phone. Android phone, right. Yeah, and, and you can use, you can write an app, let's say, that controls a servo, or you can have sensors going in and going out to the phone. So it's an extra feature. It's, it's an extra special um, uh, Arduino Mega mm -hmm. that, that works with Android. Right, so you could, have, you could even have a, a some kind of action like a phone, incoming call, do something with your physical object, or your physical object do something that you use a cell phone. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And there's a really cool shield that goes along with this for people who want to tinker around, and our, our intern Tyler uh, tried it out. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, my name is Tyler Moskoy. I'm an engineering intern here at Make Labs, and I'm here to show you today the Arduino Mega ADK Tinker Kit. Uh, it allows you to interface a whole bunch of different modules um, to the uh, Arduino Mega ADK so that you can program or tinker with whatever you would like. So it comes with a Arduino Mega, as you can see right here. Uh, it's kind of the or Arduino Mega ADK. It's the basis for the whole kit. We have the shield that plugs in right on top of it. Um, as you can see, there are a bunch of little connections, output, IOs, and inputs, and some three prongs, some two prongs, some four prongs, all up in there. Um, it also comes with the connector cables and a slew of sensors and modules of sorts. Um, it's probably 25 to 30 of them in here, I think. Here, real quick, I'm going to show you how to plug it all in together so that you can use it at home. So first we're gonna put the touch, or the Tinker Kit shield on top of the Arduino Mega ADK, like so. Uh, you wanna make sure it only goes on in one direction, so you wanna make sure the pins line up. If you're trying to put it on the other way, uh, it's just not gonna go on, the spacing isn't correct. So if you just fit it in right there, it can be a little bit difficult to get it in the first time. Um, so you just Put it on like that, you grab your module, whichever one you want to use. We chose the touch sensor module. Uh, so I'm going to grab one of the three pronged cables, 
and plug it in on the back here on this side. And because it's a touch sensor, it is an input. I'm going to put it in the uh, input plug right there. And then I'd write my code, upload it, and it theoretically would work. Um, they can do anything from green LEDs to a relay module to a 2-3 axis accelerometer, uh, thermistor, uh, light dependent resistor, all sorts of things. So you can hook up whatever you want to your Arduino Mega 80K and modify it in that way. Cool, well, thank you Tyler. And you may recognize Tyler if you're a subscriber from Maker or you ever ordered from the Maker Shed because you'll, you, you may have received this catalog here that he is right on the cover of there. Way to go Tyler, pretty cool. So um, we're, you're here. We're talking about kits. Right. You've got a kit. I've got a kit. Let's talk about okay. it. Okay. This is the Discover Electronics kit, and this is a basic electronics kit. Really, it's a curated selection of parts and a solderless breadboard, nice uh, manual, and um, projects for you to get started with electronics. Um, really, we, we call it a um, online course pack because as you go through, there's videos to go along with the lessons. So we'll take a look inside here. You start with the manual and what bunch age, of parts. What age range is this I for? You know, depends on the kid. You know, we say 12, but uh, could go younger. Depends if, if you're working with them. Comes with uh, a lot of parts. Um, capacitors, dip switch, speaker, there's a whole, a whole rainbow of LEDs, a 556 timer, solderless breadboard. That's a and, nice, I like the clear breadboard. Someone. Yeah, that's nice too because people didn't really know what was going on inside there. The manual um, starts you off with uh, some theory behind the electricity and um, what's really nice is that there's URLs associated with the different sections so you can go and watch the video instead of just reading all this stuff. We go into um, making your first circuit and powering your breadboard and then we get into all the uh, individual parts, how an LED works, what's happening in there, resistors, potentiometers. Um, we come from really a uh, education, excuse me, and <laughs> design background. And um, we wanted to make something as easy as possible and as friendly as possible for people to get into. So between the, uh, the illustrations and the diagrams and the online videos, um, you can really get a feel for all these parts. And the idea is that Really, you have a whole bunch of parts that you can then use for your own projects, that if you go on to make projects um, if, or instructables and you get some circuits or, or pick up an old Forest Mims book, you, mm -hmm. can, you can build it right there. And then we get into the 555 timer, um, and you can build a touch switch and a LED blinker and a light-sensitive noisemaker. And after you get done with all these projects, all these parts are still good for your own projects later on. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, I love the, the style and design that went into this. This yes. is really nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, uh, we put a lot of effort. This is the second, the second version, but uh, it's pretty, pretty similar. We just have more integration with, uh, with the videos can, now. Can you talk a little bit about being in the kit business? Right. <laughs> it's a, it's a, quite a journey. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I think that uh, we're, we're learning as we go. Um, we, uh, we, we, we made the first ones, uh, first thousand of these by hand. I think that um, that's when, when you get into a lot of envelopes, and this is kind of a bigger kit mm -hmm. than a lot of these, uh, it can be a bit of an ordeal if you're, um, if you're starting off in the kit business yourself. But, um, you know, it's kind of a labor of love. So I think that uh, if people want to make kits, they should, uh, they should just go ahead and, and start making little ones and putting it out there. I think probably a really important thing is, um, well, there's the documentation for people to use the kit, but also 
what would have helped me as I was creating this is documenting my process better. You know, really, I should have I should have been keeping a blog or or just some, a private journal of exactly what was going on that I could always refer to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what's if someone out there is thinking about turning one of their electronic parts into a kit? Let's say, what's probably the most important piece of advice that you could give them? What would help them the most? Oh, geez, I guess. Um, you know, you probably want to uh, are going to have to get involved with a with a get some, you know with a PCB maker, and you're you're talking about sending a bunch of your money over there. So, you want to um, you want to anybody who you're who you're who you're paying to help you with it. You want to make sure that they're they can they've already done work like this. So you can mm -hmm. say you know let me see what you've done samples. Does it look nice? You can work with them. Right, right. Great. This is great. Well, you know, thank you for being here and thank you for showing the Discover Electronics kit. This is this is a really cool kit. I like this a lot. That's really nice too. Thanks for having me.